Well, I think you'd agree there's nothing quite like fresh from the vine fruit, particularly this time of year. And how lucky are we to live on Delmarva? Our farmers really take pride in quite literally the fruits of their labor. That's especially true at Kingsley Orchards on Blueberry Lane in Frankfurt. The team there says their berries are grown with love and they get the royal treatment. So we sent 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus to find out what they mean by that and with just one bite, it all became crystal clear. Picking blueberries is a tradition that most of us can remember taking part in as children. Kingsley Farms in Frankfurt was luckily rediscovered and can continue providing memories for years to come. I'm uh, in the sheriff's sale business. I buy properties and build houses for a living. I bought this property, I was gonna develop it. After I uh, cut all the grass and found out that we had over 8,800 bushes, my wife said, instead of develop it, why don't I run the farm? The, we heard so many people talk about this farm from years and years ago from a gentleman named Ryan that owned this, and he took really good care of it. And just a lot of people really came out here with their grandparents when they were little kids. So we decided to make money at blueberries instead of develop it. Tony and his wife Megan have never farmed blueberries before and have quickly learned how much maintenance goes into this beautiful landmark of Frankfurt. We have several tractors, zero turn mowers, uh, gators to run a lot of equipment to run the farm. Takes a couple days just to cut the grass. Kingsley Farms is an astonishing 36 acres and Megan has no problem showing you how to get your adventure started. Come on in to the market and um, if you'd like to pick your own blueberries, um, we will give you a bucket, um, take you out to the area in the field um, that is a good section. Um, we'll drive you out on a um, little trailer um, that has a custom built trailer. With, uh, we have six seats and we're working on a larger trailer that we have um, um, that my husband is building to hold up to 20 people on the trailer. Um, and we'll take you to a section, give you a little lesson in the field on how to pick the berries. I decided to tighten my blueberry bootstraps and head out to the farm where I learned the art of picking the perfect blueberry. So I've never picked blueberries before. I've always bought them in a store. How do I know which ones are, 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 are good? <laughs> okay, well, when we come up to a bush, mm -hmm. um, we're going to look at the, at the bush. Um, some of the bushes like here will have um, a green berry that's not going to be ripe for probably a week or so. We have a little purpley berry that's not ready. And then what we're going to look for is the bigger berries most of them that are powdery blue. Okay. And they're gonna, you want the berry to come off really easy in your hand. So I would probably leave this whole section alone Just to let that, that ripen okay. um, for ne the next pickers. Um, and you also wanna look under the bush, under the, the green bushes, the, the, the leaves. Um, so you're gonna look under here. Here's a beautiful big berry. Ooh. And it should come off really easy in your hand when you, when you pull it. Okay. Kind of tickling the berries or they just roll off in your hand. Okay. So you just want to kind of easily, and here is a beautiful section under these leaves. Oh yeah. Of a bunch of berries. Okay. So you say, I found a ripe one, yep. right? That's powder blue. Yep. And then it should just pop off. Yep. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yep. I'm going to just eat this yep. one. Yep. Absolutely. Taste it. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. Megan is excited to use the farm to teach kids the fun dementals of fresh food and where it comes from. A lot of children sometimes don't realize that the blueberries come from a farm. They don't just show up in the grocery store. So I want to use it as a teaching tool for the kids to learn how the food gets to the, to the market. And of course, Tony and Megan are thankful to stumble upon such a beautiful piece of Delmarva to keep the tradition alive. Whoever designed this many, many years ago was really thinking how to do it correctly. And we were so excited when Corey came back to the station from Kingsley Orchards. That's because he came with buckets of blueberries. Let's just say they didn't last long with our crew. And oh, by the way, on Wednesday, one of our lucky viewers will get a Kingsley Orchards gift basket valued at $50. It's all part of the Delmarva Life Summer Guide. If you'd like to enter for your chance to win, go to delmarvalife.com slash summer.